Hey guys, it's Shannon. I hope you are doing good today. So today's video is going to be my version of my collecting story. So Paul recently did this video and put it up on our channel and you guys really liked it and really responded well and some of you said you'd be interested in hearing my collecting story. So that's what I'm filming for you today. So okay, I haven't really rehearsed this. Well, we don't do that anyway, but um, I'm just kind of speaking. I speak with my hands a lot, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of tell you how it is. Haven't really thought this through, so hopefully it comes out okay. Um, so probably going back to being little, the earliest thing that I can really remember collecting would be stickers. Now I had a boatload of stuffed animals prior to my sticker collection. Um, my mom loved buying me stuffed animals. My dad loved buying them. So I had a lot. <laughs> but the, the first thing I really remember collecting was stickers. And I was a sticker queen, let me tell you. I had sticker books. I had sticker albums. I had boxes full of stickers. My friends and I would trade stickers all the time. We'd take stickers to school and at recess and lunch break, we'd be trading back and forth. And um, scratch and sniff stickers were very big. <laughs> they were awesome. That was also the Lisa Frank stickers day. Uh, Lisa Frank stickers days. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Grossman stickers were really big. Um, yeah, I have good memories of my stickers. I wish I still had my sticker collection. So, um, I, I actually don't even know what happened to it. My parents probably threw them away at some point because I don't remember throwing them away. I don't think I could have parted with them and thrown them away, but you know, you grow up, you move on, you lose some of those collections, but Hey, guess what? You can recollect as an adult. So, Apparently I collect stickers again. So this is going to be a really funny video because the things that I tell you that I collected, <laughs> I'm recollecting. So I don't think that's that unusual actually, but okay. So stickers, stickers was a big thing. So going along with stickers was, um, those panini sticker books. I think that's how you say it, panini. It always reminds me of a sandwich, but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But you know, at the grocery store, you could pick up the sticker album and then you got the little sticker packs, which were like my day's blind bags. You know, you, you got the little pack of like five or six, however many stickers, and I couldn't wait to tear open my little pack and see if I got new stickers that I needed for my collection. So I had... I had quite a few of those and my mom spoiled me and every time I went grocery shopping with her, I was allowed to get a couple packs of stickers for the album. So that was always a lot of fun. I have really good memories of that. Um, but you know, that's still in the sticker realm. Now, had there been checklists for stickers back then, that would have been dangerous because regular stickers, you know, I would have wanted them all if there was a checklist. Now the Panini stickers, there kind of was a checklist because they were numbered and you know, you were going for the whole collection. And I think that's what I liked so much about that. But so there were stickers. Then I don't necessarily think it was a collection, but I did really like coloring books. I had a boatload of coloring books. Of course they were just kid coloring books. Um, but yeah, I remember I had a whole bookshelf filled with coloring books and my friends and I, we would get together and we would color pictures all night at our sleepovers and stuff. And I just always had this dream that I was going to finish a full coloring book. To my knowledge, that never happened, but it's kind of funny because now that I'm filming this, I have that same dream with I'm looking over here, all my adult coloring books are up there on the shelf and I, I have this dream like, oh, I'm going to finish one. <laughs> so I guess some things never change. Um, so, so my sticker collection, it never really went away. It kind of was always there. Um, the coloring book collection did go away, but then I moved on to Barbies. So I always liked Barbie dolls. Um, enjoyed playing with them, enjoyed collecting them, but I started collecting Barbie doll fashions. And I always liked the fashions more than the actual dolls. So I had an enormous, enormous 
Barbie fashion collection. Um, again, I wish I had that collection still today. I do know what happened to that collection. That was actually very sad. Um, for those of you that have been watching the channel, you know Paul and I got married and moved out together at 19 years old. And I moved my Barbie collection with me. And we lived just a couple miles away from the ocean. And um, our apartment at the time had garages, which was kind of unheard of for the area. But we used our garage just as storage. And I had all my Barbie stuff in there and it was in there for a couple years while we lived there and then when we went to move I pulled all the stuff out and I just didn't think about it I didn't know because I didn't grow up near the ocean um, but the moisture there's a lot of moisture and stuff in the air and all of the Barbie clothes got like mold on them and basically I had to throw my entire collection away there was nothing I could do to save them they were ruined <laughs> It was a very sad day. <laughs> Having said that, um, at that time Paul and I were married and we did have our youngest, well our, our oldest, <laughs> we had our baby at the time. And um, the, the area that we lived in, the best place to get baby stuff for him because he was on uh, a special baby formula, uh, the Toys R Us in our area sold that. So we would just you know go get him formula and stuff and while we were there we would look around Paul liked action figures he liked cards and other things so we'd just look around and I'd always cruise up the Barbie row and I started recollecting Barbie stuff at that point because um, that was back in the days I loved this Mattel <laughs> that was back in the days when they had like like big fashion packs like this they were called Fashion Avenue and they were just gorgeous fashions they were really involved so like the the fashion packs you get nowadays they're cute I mean I still like them I still purchase them but they're more basic what I would consider these Fashion Avenue fashions if any of you guys know what I'm talking about they were involved I mean you had like a full outfit like you had you know a fancy dress fancy shoes a purse and it came with like a pair of pantyhose and stuff and you don't see that anymore in Barbie stuff but I loved that I had ever I think just about every single Fashion Avenue outfit at that time somewhere I still have those we haven't found where yet but hopefully we'll come across those soon because I'd really like to see them. I never took them out of the package I just kept them in the package um, so I'd like to hook to come across that but at any rate so I moved into a Barbie collection when I was younger and that went right through to being married to Paul and um, and moving out and on with our lives with him so from there you know it just kind of evolved um, some collections come some collections go those were kind of what really got me started with collecting nowadays I collect way more than I should so if you guys watch this channel you know that I I like washi tape I actually get made fun of for that but that's okay <laughs> I make fun of myself so I collect washi tape I collect purses um, which that's a lot of fun I can't say I collect shoes yet but that's something I could see myself collecting I also collect makeup I saw some of you wrote that you collect makeup that's awesome and what else do I collect adult coloring books I guess <laughs> I went from owning like four to like 50 in a couple months but I don't feel so bad because Paul made me buy him four and he hasn't even ever colored a page yet so <laughs> I guess that's kind of normal but uh, what else do I collect washi tape purses kind of makeup coloring books journaling supplies we've collected different collectibles over the time like we had um, department 56 we loved those um, we've let most of those go. we actually still have the Disney collection but oh and we have a couple bigger houses in our kitchen but everything else we let go oh yeah so <laughs> this is gonna turn into Paul and I his and I first real big combined collection together 
was Hallmark ornaments. And we had a ton. We used to go to all the Hallmark or um, Hallmark ornament openings, like when they would do the open houses and launch the new collection. I think at one point we had like over 200 Hallmark ornaments, and um, that was that was a lot of fun. But yeah, um, you know it, it's okay. Collections come, collections go. You know you find new things that you like, and you're willing to let other things go, and it's just kind of just the process it's just fun but some things come back around because I have stickers coloring books and Barbies so. <laughs> okay so in case you didn't see Paul's video where he talked about his collecting story go ahead and check that video out right now uh, please leave me a comment let me know what you collect if you you know didn't already answer his or you could go ahead and leave the comment again that would be fun it's it's just interesting to see what other people like and collect so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.